In this video, I'm going to show you how to create purchase orders using the Low Stock Report. You access the Low Stock Report from Products, Low Stock Report. And what this shows when it first loads is every item where the on hand quantity is less than the minimum stock level you've set for that particular item in your main warehouse. If you've got multiple warehouses turned on, you can actually filter this to show items below the minimum stock level for that particular warehouse. Most of the time, however, we're going to run this report to create a purchase order from a vendor or from a supplier. So let's choose to filter all the items provided by Neki Supplies. And here we've got four different products that are connected to that supplier. In the first example, we've got the minimum stock level of five, and we've got zero on hand. So to buy enough to return to our minimum stock level, we'd need to buy five. However, we can see on the right hand side that Brightpell is recommending we buy six, and that's because there's one under the overage. This is calculated using the open sales figure, and the open sales is the quantity of items that have not yet been allocated. So if you've allocated everything you can, which has brought the on-hand level down to zero, then the open sales is what you have left. So in order to buy enough of these to get back to our minimum stock level and fulfill the sales, that's why we need to buy six. For the item below, that's just got a minimum stock level of five and nothing else on open sales, we just need to buy five. With the third item down, we've got a minimum stock level of six and zero on hand. So you'd expect we'd need to buy six. However, we can see we've already got 12 on purchase order, which means we've got more coming in and we don't need to buy any more. The fourth line also has a minimum stock level of six and zero on hand. But instead of buying six, what we're going to do is actually buy 10. And that's because the reorder quantity has been set to 10, which tells Brightpool to buy in batches of 10. All you need to do next is edit the quantities here and create a purchase order. You can also edit the quantities on the purchase order itself, of course. Make any changes you need here and then email it off to the supplier in the normal way. Setting your minimum stock levels and reorder quantities is essential for making this report work and you can do this in a number of different ways. Firstly, from the product edit screen in the stock and inventory tab and you can see here how you can do it for each of your different warehouses. You can also do it in bulk from the product list by selecting the items you need and then choosing to set the reorder threshold, which is the minimum stock quantity, and the reorder quantity. For product groups, you can do it from the variant edit screen. Under the inventory tab, you can set for each warehouse the minimum stock level or reorder quantity. And then of course you can also update products by importing a spreadsheet, and there's a separate video that shows you how to do that. It's also essential to connect your products to suppliers, and you can also do that in a number of different ways from the product edit screen, and if you want to choose multiple suppliers, hold control down whilst clicking. Again, you can do it in bulk from the product list, so select your items and then choose to set supplier. If you don't unlink old suppliers, it'll add this supplier to the list of suppliers for that product. And again, you can import a spreadsheet to do the same thing. Every business is going to have different ways of calculating their optimum reorder quantity and minimum stock level but you might find the sales analysis report at reports sales by product very useful. You can show the filter and actually choose the same supplier to show the products connected to that vendor. You could then export this to Excel, combine it with other business information to choose your new minimum stock levels and reorder quantities. You could also use it just to run through that purchase order you just created to make sure you're not under or over purchasing. And that takes us to the end of the video where we see how to create a purchase order from a low stock report.